Boom, what is up guys? My name is Mega Bite Roddy and today I'm here in Orchard Park, New York, just right outside Buffalo, New York at the Off The Wall Sandwich Company. They have a little challenge in here called the Off The Wall Challenge, which is a three pound burger, a pound of fries, the buns are grilled cheese. Sounds like a great meal. So we're gonna get in there, we're gonna get after it. All right guys, we got a off the wall challenge here, which is a grilled cheese bun. We got some bacon, we got some buffalo bits in here. We got fries with beer cheese. The cool thing about this challenge is that it's more of a speed eating challenge. You gotta get this down in 10 minutes. I've had this at my table for a couple minutes now, enough time for it to cool down and uh, I believe it's time to eat. All right guys, this is Megabyte Ronnie, what's up? I'm sure you're not used to this, but because of this challenge, this is um, this is really a rarity in the world of food challenges. A lot of times these food challenges, they are for over uh, 30 minutes. A lot of them are up to an hour because you're eating normally more food than this. But this is a very unique challenge in the fact that it's more of a speed eating challenge. So. I wasn't able to talk a lot during this. I wanted to make sure I got it down in 10 minutes. Um, so we're gonna do a little bit of voiceover. I know some other eaters do this and uh, hopefully you guys like this. So right now you can see me munching into this grilled cheese. Now, I'm not exactly sure what all was in this grilled cheese. I know there was like a chicken tender in there. I'm pretty sure there was macaroni and cheese in there. And somewhere in there, there was actually some Cheetos. So um, yeah, you can see me eating some of the chicken right there. Another thing is that my camera was set up right near a refrigerator and it picked up a lot of the fridge noise. I just got an upgraded microphone for my camera, trying to make sure I get you guys the best content out there. I've already knocked out a grilled cheese and now I'm dipping into these onion rings. A uh, little known fact, I'm an onion ring guy. If you make me choose between french fries or onion rings or tater tots, uh, I feel like the majority of the time I'm gonna go with onion rings. So this this burger is really right up my alley. You can see my mustache starting to get in the way. Believe it or not, on the 4th of July, I was able to, um, to eat pretty good without my mustache getting in the way. I don't know why for this particular challenge my mustache kept getting in the way. I'm probably gonna have to figure out something to do with that going forward get into this bacon here when I was a kid I was super into bacon I don't know I'm just not as much of a bacon guy as I used to be um, but it was good I mean this entire challenge was good to be honest with you you can see I'm trying to get my mustache out of my mouth there <laughs> get out of there um, but yeah I mean you know the bacon was good this entire challenge was good it's good food now I'll tell you the the best part of it here soon is gonna be the beer cheese on the french fries Shout out to um, the the restaurant for that for that beer cheese because man that was that was something I've never had before. It was good. Started using the ketchup here because I felt like I was drinking too much and I wanted to avoid getting too much liquid in me. So really just started using the ketchup to help me get it down. And oh man, what was that? Oh man, it looks like I lost a string of cheese there. I don't know where that went. Hopefully it went back in the basket and we got that in. You know what I say. I always like to get it in and get it down. It looked like I'm I'm hauling butt through these burger patties. Um, they were cooked to a perfect medium rare, which is how I like my burgers. I wanted to try this beer cheese and man, it did not disappoint. These french fries were actually a little bit more difficult to get down than what I was anticipating, but we were able to get it down just fine. Um, yeah, so going forward, guys, I am 
going to be seriously getting into competitive eating a lot more than what I was in the past. I think this year at Nathan, ooh, look at that, look at that eye contact, looking into the camera, giving you guys something. I know, like I said, guys, I like to, uh, I like to talk during my videos. I like to cut up and act a fool, but unfortunately, with this being a 10-minute timer, I wanted to make sure that I was going to get this challenge done in 10 minutes. So I was trying to hold butt. Um, I was told that I did it in almost record time. I don't think I got the record. I think Joel Hansen, our buddy Joel, that, Joel that we did some videos for, I think he holds the record, but. I'm going to have to go back and give it another shot. I didn't know what the timer was for the record. I know I'm close. Um, and I definitely think I could probably knock about two minutes off this if I was going for a record or going full speed. I'm really just sitting down at the booth having a nice meal, trying to get it down in 10 minutes so it's free. But other than that, you know, I'm not really breaking the, set, or breaking the speed limit here. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, going forward, I'm going to want to do... A lot more contests, a lot more challenges, and that's because at the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest this year on the 4th of July, I really um, I really found out how much I, I love this. You know, I, I have two passions in life, one of them being competitive eating, one of them being professional wrestling, and I thought professional wrestling was going to be something that was going to take more of my time or is just going to make me have to stop eating, but now, now that I've been doing both for a while, I've learned how to manage my time and I've learned that I'm gonna be able to do both so we're gonna be doing a lot more eating I have a I have a pretty lofty goal for the 4th of July next year I want to break 40 hot dogs and that's pretty big because I've never broke 30 hot dogs so I've got to get better at eating I've got to get faster at eating um, and the only way to do that is with practice and I really if you look through my major league eating career, I really am a guy who don't who doesn't do a lot of challenges or doesn't do a lot of contests. I mostly just do Nathan's and I do a few here and there. So I'm gonna definitely up that up going forward. Right now, Major League Eating only has two contests announced. They're both on the seven, same day actually in September. There is a pork roll eating contest that's gonna be in New Jersey and a tamale eating contest that's gonna be in Texas. I'm gonna be doing one of those, probably the pork roll one because it is closer to me. Down in these french fries, I wanted to make sure I got every single french fry. I didn't want there to be any doubt that I'm gonna finish this contest. Giving you a look, uh, trying to see where my time is and trying to make sure I was in the money. I kinda of knew I was in the money here. Maybe these grilled cheese were different because if you look at this grilled cheese, you can see the macaroni shells and you can see some of the Cheetos in there, so I don't know if they made me two different grilled cheeses or not. I was actually told at the end of this challenge that this was one of the uh, this one of the cooks who made this. This was his first day on the job. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine you're just working this job and someone shows up and orders this challenge and you got to make it? You know, you're probably just trying to figure out how to make a burger, how to flip a regular burger, or make a regular grilled cheese, and you got me showing up to demolish all this food. But the the guys there were they were they were fantastic, man. Shout out to them. They they called me Thor, and a lot of people call me Thor nowadays. They said they loved seeing me come in there and eat that. They didn't think I was gonna do it, and I was pretty confident that I was gonna get this done. It was only a matter of how fast I was gonna get this done. Um, I gotta do a better job at keeping my head up and leaning back more. I had this bad habit of eating where I. Uh, you can see right there I'm bent over which is really closing my airway passage so I've got to do better at not doing that but I, I just don't like making a mess right I grew up and you know I was told to eat all your food so I got it down guys we put it in we put it down challenge beat uh, very delicious challenge I hope you guys like this voiceover make sure you let me know in the comment section down below what you think about me talking over it thank you All right, you know what they say. We need more cowbell. Man, that was a shout out to the chefs, man. That was a really good, that was some really good food, man. That was our newest cook, cooked the whole sandwich for you. Oh yeah? Yeah. did a good job, man. That's a, thank you, thank you. Yeah, guys, that was a, 
That's a pretty tasty challenge. That's a tough one for somebody who's not used to speed eating. To try to get all that food down in 10 minutes, man, that's a, that's a pretty difficult task, but we were able to make it happen. You guys know what I always say, put it in and put it down. And if you're in the Buffalo area, make sure you check out the Off The Wall Sandwich Co. And get yourself a nice meal because man, that was one of the tastiest challenges I've ever done. Well, you know what to do. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. And if you want to find some news about Megabyte Ronnie, head on over to twitter.com backslash Megabyte Ronnie. If you want to see some cool selfies, head on over to instagram.com backslash Megabyte Ronnie. And now I have a Facebook. You can check out my Facebook at facebook.com backslash Megabyte Ronnie. And uh, can't wait to do the next one.